Hey there, amazing people. Kenny here. Just want to share this with you. So I have this plant in the back of my yard. I got it from a good friend of mine, but I neglected to plant it immediately. And so I left it there and I would water it. But as time went on, it was in a position that no one would see it. So it wouldn't get the water um, routinely. And then eventually the plant dried up. And when I discovered it, I was so heartbroken. I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not going to die. So I moved it from the location and I started watering it. I can tell you I watered it a couple of weeks and there was no sign of any life. But then, out of the blue, here we go. Start seeing tender branches, new leaves sprouting again. And the lesson there is that there are many situations that we give up on too quickly. We count it a loss. We count it all and we're ready to throw in the cards and say there's nothing there. But the principle of life is still within the plant. Somewhere there, hidden from our eyes, but by faith, we know that, and then we water the situation. It kind of reminds me of a scripture, you know, from Job 14, in verse 7, it says, For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Wow, look at that. In verse 8 tells us that, Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth bows like a plant. What an amazing encouragement. And I hope that encourages your soul because there's so many situations that we're willing to write off. The world needs encouragement. People need encouragement. People need inspiration. People need promotion in good lines. And you can be someone like that who waters things so that they can blossom and bud again, even though the signs of life are not there. All right, so I hope this blesses your heart and that you can apply it to whatever area of your life. If it's your health, if you're experiencing ill health, that can be um, changed. If you're experiencing harder relationships, you know, with your family, with your loved ones, whomever, that can be remedied and made to blossom like never before. Whatever it is, don't listen to the lie that there is no hope there. There is hope. And you can promote that. You can water that. And before you know, when the life giver, who is God, is ready, he will give the life and the increase and cause it to blossom again. All right, so have an amazing day and I hope this blesses you.